A doctor in full protective gear swabs patients for potential COVID-19. But this is not a clinic. It's the parking lot of the nonprofit Latino Network in Portland. The goal is to find infection and alert people if they're asymptomatic. Interacting with their friends, their family, their co-workers, and they don't even know that they have COVID. And that is one of the reasons why we're not seeing a drop in the numbers. Veronica Leonard with Latino Network says those numbers are not great for the Latinx community. The COVID-19 tracker for Multnomah, Clackamas, Washington, and Yamhill counties shows Hispanic and Latinx people make up 36 percent of cases, but are only 11 percent of the population. Compare that to white people, 38 percent of cases and 72 percent of the population. A disproportionate impact on the Latinx community. That's why this free testing is happening this week with help from legacy health doctor Nick Cashy. This is the work where it matters. This is where we really make difference in our communities. As a physician, this is one of the most professionally satisfying things I've done in, in a long time. When the pandemic started, many frontline Latinx workers faced a choice. Putting food on their own family's table or losing their job. They are people who are in the grocery stores, are picking vegetables in, in our fields, are, are basically allowing the rest of people who can work virtually um, to continue to be fed. Multi-generation households grouped together can also mean COVID spreads more easily. So multiple organizations have worked together for months, helping Latinx families with food, rent, and utilities. You know, it's a lot of new ground uh, for all of us. Josue Peña Juarez with the Oregon Latino Health Coalition says many don't have access to health care, information, or government benefits despite paying taxes. So this is definitely a place that is safe uh, for the Latino community to come. Trust and confidence is the biggest thing. So once you have that relationship with somebody, with a family, with an individual, I think that they're more likely to get connected. A trusted network helps bridge these gaps. Each test aimed at raising awareness and lowering the spread. In Portland, I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.